It's 8 o'clock this morning. I've been on the road for about two hours. Head to Arizona. The trip has begun. Here we go. Trying to fix the cruise control here. I think the fuse went out. Just joys of road tripping, a little minor car problems. Jordan and I drove 15 hours today. Six hours ago tomorrow, we're gonna camp here along the side of the road. Kinda wild. Tomorrow, we're gonna be looking for deer. Pretty excited. And good morning. We slept right here on our cots under the stars. It was wicked comfortable. It's nice to have a cot too. You just get off the ground a little bit. And then when you roll out of bed in the morning, you can just like stick your feet down, put your shoes on. Good stuff. We're officially in the desert. The temperature and weather is just awesome. So. You know the love goes deep, baby. Tell me what you info. I'm over the hill and under the Breakfast burritos. Over the pain and under the faith. Over the past, I wash it away. Tell me if you're looking to stay. Well, good. Yeah. Now we can get it in through the daytime. Or we can find a moon in the state side. I know you got dreams we could chase, right? I wanna... We just got into Arizona and we're meeting up with Connor. Connor flew in into Las Vegas. We're like, we're all meeting up, so here he be. What up? What's up, you hooligans? What's up, boys? You wanna stay? Yeah. Bit of money, all right, we've made it to Arizona. Our first stop is at local Walmart to pick up a deer hunting license. It's only 300 bucks too, so pretty cheap for non-resident. Okay. There you go. Awesome, thank you ma'am. Thank you. Arizona deer tag in the pocket. Hopefully, fill it. Cilantro, never leave home without it. So we went in for just hunting tags. And we came out with a lot of stuff. We're gonna be eating good though. All right, so for water, uh, what we're doing is we came down, traveled down with a bunch of these empty six gallon jugs and pretty much every grocery store in the South has got these water dispensers and it's really inexpensive. So for five gallons, it's a buck 75. Fill up here and if we need more water along the way, we'll just buzz out to town and uh, fill up some more. I wanna know what you're into. Like, can you let the past go? I can tell by the heartbeat. We found a pretty sick camp spot here, nice and flat, kind of protected from the wind. The middle of December and we're about to start bow hunting, which is just awesome. So, tomorrow's scouting day. Hopefully we find some deer to go after. And then the next day is opening day. Boys ready? First morning out in the desert here in Arizona. We got into camp last night, slept under the stars. Season doesn't open until tomorrow, so today's just a scouting day, but ready to get after it. Yeah. Some deer boys. I'm on the board. Where is your great, great, great grandfather? First morning, just saw three bucks and eight dollars. Don't ask me what I want to do. Yeah, how'd it go? It's good. Yes. You guys on the board? We're on the board. Nice. Are you on the board? I'm on the board. First morning of scouting's down. I saw seven deer. You guys saw 15, so 22 total. We're gonna keep track of all the deer that we see. We'll mark it on the back here. Your dreams, huh? Tell me how that goes. Like, what did you go, 22 deer, not a bad start. So one of the rules uh, here in Arizona is that you can't camp within a quarter mile of a water tank or a reservoir. When we showed up, we were looking for a spot to camp and we found this spot, uh, but we know that there's a water tank just over the hill. Uh, one of the cool features about the Onyx system is that going to your map, you go into your map tools, very simple, you can do a line distance. Uh, you mark where the water tank is, then you can mark where your camp is, and we were able to determine super quick that just over a quarter mile away, which is perfect, just another great tool, good feature that you can use to uh, help you out while you're out there. All right, the whole crew's here. The hunt starts tomorrow, so we've counted, what, 27 deer so far? 27, yeah. And one bobcat. One bobcat from camp. Archery hunting in December. Pretty sweet, here we go. 